By now, you've probably already had various heart tests, but you might have some questions about why you had them and what tests you might have in the future. This special topic explains some common tests that create images of your heart or measure how well your heart is working. A chest x-ray is usually done to see if there's a problem with your lungs that's causing shortness of breath, such as fluid buildup or an infection like pneumonia. An x-ray may show an enlarged heart, but not always. An EKG or electrocardiogram measures your heart's electrical activity and shows whether there are problems with your heart rhythm. In an EKG, patches are placed on your chest, arms, and legs. The patches are connected to a machine that records your heart activity and shows it on a screen. An echocardiogram uses ultrasound to take pictures of your beating heart. This test shows the heart's size, the valves, and heart chambers, and how well the heart is working. An echo is also the easiest way to see whether the heart has become weak or if it has become stiff. An echo test is the least expensive way to look at the heart in a short period of time, and there's no pain involved. A nuclear cardiac exam shows how well the heart functions at rest and under stress. In this test, we scan your heart while you're at rest, and then we stress the heart through exercise or medication. We then inject a material that gives off a very small amount of radiation. A special camera tracks the medication as it moves through your heart. This test may show areas of damage or scarring on your heart. If it shows ischemia, a lack of oxygen because there isn't good blood flow, you will likely have a cardiac catheterization test. In cardiac catheterization, a long, thin tube called a catheter is put into a blood vessel, usually in your groin. Then it's guided inside the blood vessel to the heart. A healthcare provider injects a special dye into the catheter. The dye is picked up by x-rays and a monitor shows a picture of your beating heart. Cardiac catheterization helps healthcare providers see if there's a blockage in the arteries and how severe it is. It also helps them assess the heart's pumping, ejection fraction, and function of the heart valves. Another cardiac cath procedure, called right heart catheterization, helps us look at the pressures in the heart and the arteries that lead to the heart. This helps to show whether the heart is struggling with too much fluid, if the output from the heart is low or both. Depending on your condition, other tests may be used. These include a cardiac MRI or CT scan of your heart, or a VO2 test to check your body's ability to use oxygen during exercise, a measure of your physical endurance. Repeating some tests like the echocardiogram is important. Doing this shows us how you responded to therapy. If your ejection fraction improves, we'll keep you on important heart medications. If it doesn't recover, it's time for important decisions about the next steps to treat your heart failure. If you have any questions about a medical test, ask your healthcare provider. We're happy to explain why it's being done, what will happen, or how you can prepare.